have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they were to see was that night on the marge of Lake Cabarge, I cremated Sam McGee. Now Sam McGee was from Tennessee where the cotton blue he was. Why he left his home in the south to roam, around the pole God only knows. He was always cold, but the land of gold seemed to hold him like a spell. Though he'd often say in his homely way that he'd sooner live in hell. On a Christmas day, we're mushing our way over the Dawson Trail. Talk of your cold, um, talk of your cold through the parka's fold, it's stabbed like a driven nail. If your eyes be closed and the lashes grow, so sometimes we couldn't see. But the only one to whimper was Sam McGee. And that very night, as we lay packed tight in our robes beneath the snow, uh, and the dogs were fed and the stars overhead were dancing heel and toe, he turned to me and, Cap, says he, I'll cash in this trip, I guess. And if I do, I'm asking that you won't refuse my last request. He seemed so low that I couldn't say no, but he says with a sort of moan, it's the cursed cold, and it's got right hold till I'm chilled clean through to the bone. Yet taint being dead, it's my awful dread of the icy grave that pains. So I want you to swear, foul or fair, you'll cremate my last remains. A pal's last need is a thing to heed, so I swore I would not fail. And we started on the streak of dawn, but God, he looked ghastly pale. He crouched on the sleigh and raved all day of his home in Tennessee. And before nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. There wasn't a breath in the land of death, and I hurried horror-driven. With the corpse half hid, but I couldn't get rid because of the promise given. It was lashed to the slain and seemed to say, You may tax your bronze and brains, but you promise true, and it's up to you to cremate those last remains. Now a promise made is a debt unpaid, and the trail has its own stern code. In the days to come, though my lips were numb, and my heart how I cursed that load. In the long, long night, by the lone fire light, while the huskies round in a ring, howled out their woes to the homeless snows, oh God, how I loathed the thing. And every day, that quiet play seemed to heavy and heavier grow, 
And on I went, though the dogs were spent and the grub was getting low. The trail was bad, and I felt half mad, but I swore I would not give in. And it often sing to the hateful thing that hearkened with the grin. Till I came to the marge of Lake Babarge, and the derelict there lay. It was jammed in the ice, but I saw in a trice it was called the Alice May. Uh, and, and I looked at it, and I thought of it, and I looked at my frozen chum. Then here said I with a sudden cry, is my crematorium. Some planks I tore from the cabin floor, and I lit the boiler fire. Some coal I found that was lying around, and I heaped the fuel higher. The flames just soared, and the furnace roared such a blaze you seldom see. And I burrowed a hole in the glowing coal, and I stuffed in Sam McGee. <laughs> then I made a hike, for I didn't like to hear him sizzle so. And the heavens scowled, and the huskies howled, and the wind began to blow. It was icy cold, and the hot sweat rolled down my cheeks, and I don't know why. And the greasy smoke and an inky cloak went streaking down the sky. I do not know how long in the snow I wrestled with grizzly fear, but the stars came out, and they danced about, ere again I ventured near. I was sick with dread, but I bravely said, I'll just take a peep inside. I guess he's cooked, and it's time I looked. From the door I opened wide. And there sat Sam, looking cool and calm in the heart of the furnace roar. And he wore a smile, you could see a mile, and he said, Please close that door. It's fine here, but I greatly fear you'll let in the cold and storm. Since I left Plum Tree down in Tennessee, it's the first time I've been warned. <laughs> there are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights the northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they would see was that night on the marge of Lake Labarge, I cremated to sit in the game. <laughs>